Captaincy explained in detail. We will go through every benefit of this new feature in Season 7 and what it offers you and your crew. Pause it here, sit back, relax and enjoy. You'll notice a new menu option, My Ships. All captaincy features are behind this tab, and this is where you can experience the new content. Once inside, you can purchase a ship. And don't worry, it's not only for Pirate Legends. Anyone can buy a ship if you have the required gold amount. And if you don't have it, it's pretty easy to make this amount in one sailing session. So check my Discord to set sail with a large crew and make that gold as soon as possible. And if you want ways to fast gold, I got videos for you in the description. Now that you are about to purchase a ship, choose your name wisely. This isn't like a pet where you can change the name at any time, it's like your Xbox gamer tag. You'll have to pay real money to change it. If you wish to rename your ship at any time, purchase a renaming deed from the Pirate Emporium. So it works exactly like the appearance potion if you wish to change your character looks. Now that you are in the game for the first time, you'll find your ship parked. At first load in, it will obviously be a default ship, and this is where you have to head to the ship customization chest and start bringing life to your vessel. Open the customization option and choose Choose each individual set. Once settled, save it to the ship. You have to do that individually for each cosmetic. This means it will be already equipped the next time you load in and ready to set sail. But that's not all. Even battle scars and any damage that happens will stay there. If you wish to remove it, pay a small gold fee to the shipwright for a refresh. But remember, just like the merchant supply crates, this also has a cooldown. You can also purchase different supplies from throwables, meats, and worms for your fishing, in addition to captain's voyages. These voyages aren't like the ones from the NPCs. Instead, you can buy them from the shipwright and access them from your ship's new cabinet, which makes it easy to vote for these voyages at any time at your captain's table, and anywhere without the need to go back to the outpost. Now that you set sail for these voyages, this is where your role as a ship captain kicks in. Everything you do is in the ship's logbook. Most importantly, days since the last sinking. This will be something to be proud of. How long will you last at sea as a captain? Your ship now is much more valuable. And of course, if you sink another captain ship, you can sell their logbook to the Reaper's hideout, exactly like emissary flags. Like your character, we had pirate log that contains all your commendations and rewards. We now have ship's log. Your named ship has its own reward system called Milestones, a completely new progression system. This is where you track everything your ship has accomplished with you as a captain. You can also pin what you are after for easy tracking. This is what counts into unlocking the new ship decorations introduced with captaincy, and is divided nicely in any playstyle you would like. So it's all there if you are a fisherman or a PvPer. For example, a level 50 gold hoarder unlocks Royal Sovereign Figurehead. These milestones will unlock different decorations for your ship so you can flex. And of course, we have the Sovereigns. It's not a faction, it's just like fancy people. They don't have their leveling system, they're just here to help out. As you noticed, each outpost has a new purple tent that looks fancy, that you can see from a distance. Instead of going to individual NPCs to sell your loot, now you can quickly use the tools provided to stack it and sell it here at no discount. But keep in mind that you will not be able to sell or even deal with these fancy people if you are not on a captain ship. Please subscribe and happy captaincy.